Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and this video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to unbox a little bit bigger switch today. This is the Catalyst 9600. So it's a modular chassis for the new Catalyst switches. It's the replacement for, let's say the 6500. It's a quite nice switch, but it's way too heavy to carry up to the office. Let's do the unbox in the warehouse instead. So let's begin. And well, it's a lot more packaging than a normal desktop switch. This is of course nothing that you have on your own uh, desk or in a small office. This is like a core or distribution switch. And this will of course be different on how you spec it, because it's a modular chassis, so you can spec it however you want. Alright, so at least we see the box now. And good thing I did take my big unboxing scissor. And honestly, when you do this type of work, when you mount this, make sure to be two people. Oh. Ah, okay. Easier than I thought. So it's just to lift it. Well, I'll take a closer up so you can see how it looks. So here you have some cables. Not sure what this is, but we will unbox it. And here is the, the switch itself. And this is not my box, so I need to be a little bit careful. Let's see. Let's see what's in the small box first. Ah, okay, so in this one, it's this type of stuff, take it closer. So this is cable, so this is cable management. All right. And then we have this is a little bit odd. It's only three. I was expecting four, but um, well, and it's this type of cable. So let's see. Sorry, so let's see how we should do this. It's a heavy ass switch. So first off, four handles. So four handles so you can carry it a lot easier. <clears throat> a 
it's heavy. <laughs> I'm a fat boy, so this is heavy. I wouldn't recommend you to install this yourself. Let's see what we can get out. Whew. So if we lift this. I say like this. It's really not recommended to do yourself. So let's break this. And then let's put this back. Yeah, that was mine training for the year. So, let's see. Here is an interesting thing. You see the power supplies down here? There is actually three of them, but there is one more slot. So, it's built to have four power supplies. You can pick what you want when you spec the chassis and they have nice on-off buttons um, and these ones are let's see 2000 watts so it's 2000 watts Per power supply. And this chassis has three. And let's get over to the line cards. So this is the line cards. And this chassis fits uh, six slots as you see. But this is a supervisor. So you need to calculate that you need to have a supervisor as well. So let's start with the top card and the top card or to remove the cards you press in a little button here and then you can take it out same here and then you can slide it out and they are quite massive. So this specific model is a 9600, you see it here, 9600 LC24C. Let's put this back. And as you can see, this is QSFPs. And QSFPs are made for 40 and 100 gigs. I will check what this slot is, is uh, built for. But I believe it's a 40 gig. Here we have a normal SFP. So same here. Press here. Press here. Pull a bit more. And it comes out. And it looks very similar. And this specific one is a 9300 LC48YL. And I'm not sure what it's for, but I will put the, the spec sheet on the screen so you can see it. I believe it's. 10 
and 25 and we do have the same here and here so in this chassis we have 48 plus 48 plus 48 SFP plus ports and then we have 24 QSFP ports and I will put the specs for you and this tray is empty so here you can put something either you can hide your valuables <laughs> or you can put a different card I would recommend you put an additional supervisor maybe So you have redundant supervisors. Let's see if I can get this. So, and this is the super. This is the. Let's see. This is the supervisor. So same. This is the supervisor. And there is a memory slot free here. I don't know if you can see it there I'm not aware if you can uh, put in additional memory but it looks like that and this is a C9600 SUP1 and it says here Catalyst 9600 series supervisor module. On the other one, it says Catalyst 9600 series Ethernet switching module. And here it's RFID. So they are RFID ready, meaning that you can do, or not ready, capability. So you can do inventory in the data center fairly easy. So you can see that the chassis. I'm not sure if the line cards themselves have RFID. I don't see that. But the chassis itself has R RFID. And this is a C9600R. And just to show you where the fans goes out because this is the fan tray the fans themselves the fans themselves are on the side so it's not on the back side so this is the fan tray that you pull out and then you have all these fans and it looks like it's 80 millimeter fans and guys i was wrong this one, I don't think you pull it out because on the back side there are similar screws as this and you can actually unpack them and you have the fan tray over here. So the fans can be removed on the back side. And maybe you wonder why it's a huge improvement. Well, think about it. The cables will go here. So if you have a fully mounted chassis with full cables, if you are going to replace this, either you need to pull all the cables this way, or you need to divide it like this. And the problem in rack is that you have very limited space. So to be able to pull this, backwards means that you don't need to unplug any cables so that's a huge benefit that's a real plus and thank you cisco for for implementing this thank you for watching this video and if you did uh, like the content please like the video and subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate it and i see you in the next one take care bye